CPHI Miss Exam Preparation Question and Answer Question number 101 The most critical success factor in EHR governance is A. Managing and leading change transformation processes B. Assuring purchases of in newest technology C. Establishing best infrastructure prior to and after EHR installation and D. Rewarding staff for meeting or exceeding goals Answer A. Managing and leading change transformation processes. Explanation. The best answer is A. Because use of EHR depends on supporting the workflow requirements of users, the latest and greatest technology, B, is only as good as the ability of personnel to use it. Although solid infrastructure is necessary, C, it is not sufficient. Rewarding staff, D, has made it but is also not sufficient. Question number 102. The Director of Human Resource explained to the IT manager that in order to manage staffing levels to approved and budgeted levels, there is a process where all positions need to be planned and centrally approved through the Human Resource Department. What type of process is the Director of Human Resource referring to? A. Recruitment B. Position Control C. Staffing and D. Employee Management Answer B. Position control. The term position control is a process used in many organizations where positions are centrally approved either by human resource or finance department. Choice A, C and D are not terms that define the centrally managed human resource process. Question number 103. Healthcare systems statement of basic purposes and activities is the a. Vision Statement B. Value Statement C. Mission Statement and D. Strategic Plan Answer C. Mission Statement Question number 104 which of the following is not key driver or domain of burnout and burnout and professional fulfillment? A. Efficiency of practice. B. Practice productivity. C. Culture of wellness. And D. Personal resilience. Answer B. Practice Productivity. Question number 105. Tuckman's model of teamwork posits that groups will develop in a predictable fashion. The usual order of that development is A. Norming, storming, forming and performing. B. Storming, forming, norming and performing. C. Forming performing, storming and norming and D. Forming, storming, norming and performing. I will read this question again. Tuxman's model of team works posits that groups will develop in predictable fashion. The usual order of that development is A. Norming, storming, forming, performing B. Storming, forming, norming, performing C. Forming, performing, storming, norming and D. Forming, storming, norming, and performing. Answer D. Explanation. Tuckman stated that group groups pull together, form, followed by an, followed by a period of dispute, storm. Next, the group walks out the disagreement, normalize before being able to perform. Question number 106. The best statement regarding IT governance is A. A single structure for good IT governance can keep pace with all the wants and needs of an organization. 
b it governance does not need to include research and educational needs in its structure separate governance provide adequate oversight c how an institution makes it investment decision is often more important that what is specific de decision are made and d proper leadership governance in it is sufficient to overcome the lack of a clinical information system advisory, advisory group answer c how an institution makes it investment decision is often more important that what the specific decision are made explanation no single governance can provide proper structure for disparate functions and departments answer is incorrect that said research and education has information technology requirements and it governance must include those fields including data governance answer b is incorrect answer d presuppose that it personnel can function as clinical decision makers research shows that this often fails Answer C is the best answer as it is the most flexible, allowing for the rapid change in, te in technology. Question number 7. An operating room information system is an example of A. Clinical information system B. ADT system C. Medical record system and D. Enterprise wide network Answer A. Clinical Information System. Question number 108. When facing conflict or important issues and there are no time pressure for resolution, you should first use which of the following leadership management methods? A. Accommodation. B. Compromise. C. Collaboration. D. Competition. Answer C. Collaboration. Explanation. There are few key variables that define conflict management situations and determine which conflict management strategy are likely to be effective. Time pressure is an important variable. If there were never any time pressures, one approach might always be the best to use. When time is not variable, influencing decisions and the issues are important. Collaboration is the best methods of conflict management to employ. Question number 109. Alert fatigue reduces efficiency of efficiency of use of electronic health records. Many clinicians gloss over alerts, often without reading them. Research reveals various range of override states, but the most widely quoted and likely most accurate overall rate is a 60 percent b 75 percent c 96 percent d 99 percent answer c 96 percent question number 110 which of the following leadership qualities would be most important for a chief medical informatics officer to display when implementing new systems and applications a charismatics b task oriented c transformational d support you Answer C. Transformational explanations. Leadership qualities have the appearance of being related to traits or behavior, but that the key difference is the interpersonal application as leaders interact with various constituencies of the organization. Of the following responses, only charismatics and transformational are leadership qualities. Of those two, transformational is the most important for change management required when implementing new health IT systems. 